today on Community Cooking. We have guest chef Debbie Bernstein in our kitchen cooking up some bacon fried rice along with a banana caramel egg roll for dessert. We're cooking with some of the best chefs from right here in our own community. So grab a seat and relax because we have another great meal for you. This is your Community Cooking. Hi and welcome to Community Cooking. I'm your host Maria Prekacis and I am always excited to have our guest chef Debbie Bernstein in the house. I'm excited to be here too, thanks. We always have so much fun and you bring such great dishes. Today, a little different twist on a few staples that I'm familiar with. Yes. So what are we making? Bacon fried Bacon rice? fried rice and then banana caramel egg rolls for dessert. I mean, I'm used to the salty, savory egg rolls, so I'm super excited about the sweet ones. Yeah, that's what my family said the first time I made them, too. <laughs> now, who thinks of bacon fried rice? You. Yeah. Do you just like bacon and thought, uh, why not my, add it? My family is addicted to bacon, so a lot of the dishes have bacon. And it was really just one night that, what can I make with what I have left over in the fridge? And I had some bacon, and I had some leftover rice, and we just threw it together, and it was really good. So I love it. I think more, especially at-home cooks and... Chefs just throw things together, and you've been cooking. You've had a passion for it for a long time. But for me as an at-home cook, I think, oh, I need an exact recipe. But you don't. You can create no. wonderful things. No, I rarely use recipes. That's <laughs> Rarely. <laughs> we just throw it together. All right, so talk about the ingredients we have for the bacon fried rice. So, of course, bacon, because it wouldn't be bacon fried rice without it. And the rice, the other staple. And rice, it could really be any kind of rice. It could be what you have left over from the night before. My family is addicted to white rice, so that's what we use, but it can be anything. Sesame oil, just because I love the smell. Eggs, fresh garlic, because everything I make has fresh garlic in it. Um, snow peas, carrots, green onions, and then just regular vegetable oil and the soy sauce. I love it. And you know, everything is better with bacon. It is. <laughs> I'm it just is. saying, and the rice, I mean, you could almost, I don't want to say use a quinoa because I love the white sticky rice, but you can do any variation. Just you throw could. it all together. It, it would be a different consistency. It wouldn't yeah. be sticky like most fried rices, but okay. you could do anything. All right, so what do we start with? Our favorite? Bacon. bacon. <laughs> Look at that. And you brought some bacon. Yes. And you want the pan to be fairly hot when yes, you put it in. you do. So you should hear it when it goes in. And like that. Do. Look at that. Yeah, you know, everything is better with bacon. Although some of the chocolate covered bacon I've tasted, I'm, some I like, a few have been a little weird, but I love that bacon and fried rice. Yeah, and, and you don't want to drain the bacon because okay. you're using, I hate to say the fat, but you're using the oil, we'll call it, from the bacon yeah. to make it fried rice so it's a little more flavorful than... Oh no, I love it. Why wouldn't you? And the rice is going to absorb a lot of it so it's not going to be greasy. It is. Oh my gosh, who does not love the smell of bacon cooking. So, do we want to start cutting up vegetables right. while we're waiting? So, I have a carrot. How um, do you want big pieces, small pieces? Do so you want to cut it into quarters and then okay. cut into bite-sized pieces? We like bite-sized. We're making smoke signals. I know. We are sending smoke signals saying everyone's going to be like, we want your bacon fried rice. And I'll cut up the green onions while you're doing that. Yes, thank you. Anything onion? I give to you. Well, they don't make you cry, though. No, they don't. And green onions, now you took most of the white tops off. Right, because we're it's adding some flavor, but it's adding color, too. Okay. Come on with the carrots. How did you get into, I know everyone goes, oh, I love to cook, I love, but you love to cook, and you love to cook for your family. I do. I do. When did it start? Young age, or one day you just um, said, I have to get serious about this? You know, I think when I got married, and I kind of felt like that was my role as a wife, was I needed to learn how to cook. <laughs> so I just kind of just self-taught, just started making things. And my husband's uncle is a chef, so he came over a couple of times and gave me some pointers and just went from there. Oh, how fun. And a, a lot of it is that my family is the pickiest eaters ever. So I don't cook one meal a night. Sometimes it's two or three, depending on what oh, I'm geez. making and who will eat what. So I get a lot of practice. Well, and I think as we talked about before, it's just key to just try things. Yeah. 
when my sister, I'm going to throw her under the bus, she got married and she would always ask white or red and it was the um, color of the pasta sauce. She went, <laughs> she's come a long way. She is a great cook right now and hers was just from all trial and error. And now with all the, you know, different cooking shows like ours and food shows, you, you get a lot of ideas. Oh, yeah. look at that. So you don't want to cook it all the way because we're going to just keep layering. Okay. So everything's going to keep cooking a little more. So if you're done with those carrots, we'll throw those in now. I'm going to look at this. Put them on a little fancy. Oh, perfect. Because the carrots will take the longest. Yes. So we'll do that. And you can really put anything in this, whatever you have at home. Any veggies, uh, peppers. You could add bell peppers. Of course, you would never add green ones. But no. <laughs> no. I'm not a green pepper fan. Okay, I have eggs. I was told I was going to do something with these. Those eggs are going to need to be um, beat. Cracked and whisked? Cracked and whisked. Let's see if I can do it without. See, I do it on the side of the bowl instead of on the. Now, see, there's something I learned from you is how to get the eggshell out when it I was just in. I, I was just going to say I learned from you. <laughs> no, you. Well, that was another yeah. great chef we had on that said this yeah. is how. So if you ever Whoops. get an eggshell in, you take, I don't have any, which is amazing. You take the shell itself and you put it in and the little scrap of eggshell just goes right in there. It's like magic. Okay, I will whisk away. Perfect, and we're, while you're doing that, I'm gonna add the garlic. And I swear, garlic press is my new favorite thing. I mean, I always used it growing up. I found my mother's old one from years ago when I was cleaning out my kitchen. And it just really, I don't mind chunks of garlic, but the press really makes it smooth. It really does, and it gets all the liquid out of the garlic too. Yeah, the things you find when you clean. <laughs> <laughs> and we're using what, three or four cloves? We're using three. The recipe okay. calls for three. Okay. Who doesn't love enough garlic though? Oh, it smells so good. I have a garlic addiction, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. It might not be good for you, you know, three days later. But and it it's keeps good. vampires away too. Right? I, it does, which, you know, we always need help with that. So there's a lot in Torrance. All, uh, all the shows. <laughs> And then we'll add the... Uh, so now we're going to add the snow, snow peas. Quality control. Are they oh, good? they're so fresh and good. I love our farmer's market here. Yes. Mmm. And we just keep stirring it around. Yep. See, and there wasn't a lot of bacon fat in there. Well, it's absorbing into <laughs> <know>. everything. <laughs> our secret. Oh, yum. Colorful, fun, and I like one-pot meals. Yes. One-pot recipes. Now, a lot of times, because this has the protein and the egg and the rice, you could just have this as your meal. We do. At our house, sometimes we'll fry up an egg and put a, a, a sunny side up egg on top so the yolk just kind of melts over the whole thing when you eat. Oh, and so that's idea. really that's really good. Or you could serve it as a side dish or as a meal. It's, it's definitely got enough protein in it well, I was to be say. a meal. <laughs> it does. And that's why when I do the bacon, I leave the pieces a little bigger because then I feel like you're not eating mush, you're actually eating different textures, but you oh. can do either. Which makes sense. Yeah, you had chopped it pretty pretty thick. So now mm. we are ready for rice. Rice. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So excuse my hands, but nothing works as well as hands. That's okay. I wash them really well, I promise. I trust you. And you can use a lot of rice. You can. And then the rest of all the juices get soaked in. Yeah. So oh. I just let it kind of soak in a little bit first. And so then we'll mix it all up. You really, over the years, I know you have twins. I do. And you have, you are a good mother doing Thank different you. dishes. But then it brought you to where you are today because you learned so many different things. Yes. Do you have a favorite dish to cook? Or is your favorite one the next um, one you haven't invented yet? Because I know you've invented <laughs> so many. It is. Um, I really don't have, I think my favorite is more of when I just have a few things in the kitchen and what am I going to make with them. And now we're going to add the oils. Okay. I mean, and you just, you have to try. I mean, sometimes have there been dishes and you're like, oh, that's not a do-over. Or oh, I have, have to do it over to try there to make have. it better. And there's been pizza delivery. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is, people get too afraid just to say, okay, let's try this. Does your family have a certain type of food they like best, or? Um, my daughter is better now, but one of my daughters used to only eat white foods, we used to joke. So it was chicken, potatoes, and rice. That was it, nothing <laughs> else. 
Not so, a veggie. Not no, no. So <laughs> dishes always had to include that. But but now I I think probably anything with bacon becomes a favorite in my well, house. I'm so coming over to your house every and we night. Have, and with cheese. Yeah. Almost everything we make either has bacon or cheese. <laughs> and you're thin. How do you have? I love it. It's moderation. Yes. It's definitely, oh my gosh, that looks so good. Got to get rid of that Now, combo. for fried rice, I like the sticky rice to use because it does break down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I do like to use sticky rice. So now that the rice is kind of all mixed, now it's time for the egg. Okay, this is what, so you pushed all the rice so to the side. To the edges because we're going to cook the egg right in the middle. So we don't want to use any more than one pan because then we have to clean more than one pan. I'm with you. So you don't want to mix it all in. You want to cook the egg first and then yeah, break it up. Yeah, because if you if you mix it all in, it's going to become a great big rice pancake. Oh, okay. Did not know that. So look, it's your own little fry pan in the middle. Yeah. I love that. Scrambled eggs in. So and if a little bit of the stuff mixes in, it doesn't matter. But not the whole yeah. thing. Super easy. I know in um, Hawaii a lot, and even here in Southern California, a lot of people love their fried rice. They'll put a hamburger patty on top or different things, which this would be good with because it has bacon. Oh, it would be, be a bacon burger fried rice. Right. A little See? bit of gravy poured over that. Oh, yeah, It'd be I know perfect. They, I mean, it's a good thing after Kind of surfing. like a loco moco kind of thing. Yeah, I was right? going to say, I think that's what they call it. Okay, see, I did not know that. I thought you just threw the egg in haphazardly, but. Oh, yum. So once the egg's cooked, you just, just mix, mix it all in. together. And we're just about ready to eat. Oh my gosh. Well, and you're going to add the scallions as a garnish or in the mix? We're going to add it, but at the very end. Okay. They don't really need to cook. They just need to warm up. All right. Well, I'm going to let you finish that. It's a great time for a quick break. When we come back, banana caramel egg rolls. Are you kidding me? You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. You're watching Community Cooking. Hi, I'm Jordan Peel. I'm usually trying way too hard to be funny. Well, right now, I'm going to be completely serious with you. Online bullying is a toxic side effect of modern technology. No one's immune to it. Not you, not me, nobody. But there's a way we can fix it. This emoji in the symbol section of your phone's emoji keyboard. Use it when you see bullying online to say, I see what you're doing, not cool, definitely not funny. And I know what funny is. I coined the phrase wordness to the turdness. So. Join me and become a witness. When you see bullying online, use this emoji to do something. Learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org. Welcome back to Community Cooking. I'm Maria Prekicis, and if you're just joining us, I love my guest and guest chef, Debbie Bernstein. We did the fried rice. Can't Good. wait to taste it. Looks great. Now we're going to do some egg rolls, but not what you think of as like a pork or vegetarian egg roll. Right. We're going to do a dessert egg roll instead with bananas. Bananas? Okay, I could just drink all the caramel you brought. Yeah. How did you come up with a banana caramel egg roll? We went to a restaurant. It was a fusion that was Thai and Japanese. And for dessert, they served banana egg rolls. But they were whole bananas, and they were big. And I said, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to make that better. <laughs> That's why we love you. You always come up with creative things. So let's talk ingredients. Not a lot. I like that. There's not a lot. So we have bananas, of course, um, cinnamon and brown sugar for the filling. And the egg is simply to brush on the edges to keep the egg roll okay. closed. And then we're going to dust it with powdered sugar, drizzle it with a little bit of caramel. And when you serve it, you would want to serve it with a nice pile of whipped cream in the middle. Gosh darn, that just sounds horrible, doesn't it? Oh, I love <laughs> it. So how do we get started? Well, first got to cut up the bananas. So okay. we can each take one to start. Perfect. So See, I go from the bottom. Is that what you do? Oh, yeah. No. See, it's no. so much you I went from the top. Oh, well, you know. Bottom top oh, with the potato, banana, potato, 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 potato. And, and so, do you want them pretty? We're small cutting pieces? them into quarters, like we did the carrots. Okay, for the rice. Perfect. I can follow those directions. <laughs> <laughs> and the bananas don't have to be like sometimes with banana bread and such. You want them super ripe. No, this doesn't matter. Okay. Because we're gonna once we mix them with the brown sugar, they're gonna taste great. Oh, bananas! I love them. And then, so you just decided, let's add some caramel, because I know a lot of people do bananas and chocolate. But you just decided, let's try a little caramel, which I love. It was what I had at home. Again, <laughs> don't go shopping. Use what you have at home first. So bananas in the bowl? Yes. I love it. 
fancy. I actually, when I eat bananas, I like them not very ripe. So I'm glad you don't have to make these mushy. Have to use the mushy ones. Okay. We've got one more. Oh. Here's, I'll share I with you. I thought that was a problem. And I'll no. let you peel from the bottom. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> not funny. One day I couldn't get it open from the top. I'm like, well, I'm going to try the bottom. So then as simple as this is, we're yep. just going to dump in the brown sugar. Okay. Dump in the cinnamon. And mix it up. Oh, my gosh. That's it. See, again, basically almost one pot meal. And we are heating some oil on the stove. What kind of oil do you use for this? The cheapest vegetable oil I can get at the market. <laughs> again, why we love you. Um, and that's for on top, the powdered sugar and caramel. Correct. Caramel, caramel. And then should I um, open the egg? You Crack can. the egg? You can. Open the and, egg. And you whisk know. it up. Oh. So you want to beat that up, though. I just want and that. Can I beat it up? I'm going to beat it up with a knife. Watch this. I'm impressed. I use what I have. That's, that's called improvisation, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. So we are good. So... Super. I've never rolled an egg roll. Wow. I've rolled burritos, but never an egg well, roll. Well, you're not going to be able to say that in five minutes. From I now. love it. All right. And these you can get at the store. Correct. And is there a proper, a good side and a bad side that you want to put down? There's or? not. Okay. They're both the same. So you want to put it with a point towards you. Oh, see? That's why she's here. And you're just going to put a little bit of the banana mixture. I could, you know, just eat the banana mixture yeah. at this point. There'll be leftovers, I promise. Oh, good. So you just want to put a little bit at the corner. And okay. it doesn't have to be a lot. Oh. And I'll wait till you get there and then we'll so do it we'll together. So we'll roll it together? Yes. I love it. I love how you took something in a restaurant and said it's good, but I'm going to make it better. Yeah, I guess you do want kind of like egg rollish yeah. looking. I was trying to do less so mine wouldn't pop out. So you want to roll the point in first and get a flip. Okay. And then just fold the corners in. Oh. And, and then, then keep now, going. nope, now we take oh. this. Just wet oh. your finger with a little and wet the edges. And that's oh. what's going to keep it closed when you roll around. My point looks a little different than yours. I'm going to cheat and put some in here. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a little smaller. It doesn't matter. There we go. It's going to taste perfect. Oh, fun. fun. So here, now you get to practice again. Okay. So we just keep doing that until, and oh, you can it's make. a cute little egg roll I made. If, if you want more than six, you just use more bananas. It's one banana for every two egg rolls. Oh, okay. And that's a good, that's a lot of banana. That's some potassium. So it's good for you. Even yeah. Though it's, even though it's fried in oil. But still. But it's fried in vegetable oil. The so, cheapest she can find. So, but that <laughs> means we're getting our vegetables too, right? Yeah, oh, of course. So put it over. Oops. Well, this one's not quite as tight as the last one. <laughs> I think I had beginner's luck. My first one was a little better. A little dip in the egg wash. I just put it everywhere so it won't come off. I think I could have used a little more stuffing in this. You don't want to do too much because it's going to puff up a little too. <laughs> See, my first one's much prettier. Yours this are perfect. Do one what more? am I doing wrong? Well, you can never go wrong in the kitchen as long as it tastes good. And like you said, right. there have been nights with you where it's been. There has been Domino's nights. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I know, we, did, right? we did make our small. We have a lot of banana left. I know. I was going to say. That's all right. They were really big bananas too, though. We'll make this last one bigger. <laughs> I know, like, but and this would be something fun to do with the family, family friends. And can you make these ahead of time and put them in the refrigerator before you? Um, um, you can make them all the way up to the point where you fry them. Yeah. But once you fry them, they're not good okay. preheated at all. But could you even freeze these? Probably not. Pro I don't know if I would. Okay. And then I love you. Have a fancy dancy. Um, thermometer for your oil and it's on a trial run <laughs> i love it let's try it out here let's see if it really works so you can do one or two at a time i usually just do one okay why do i feel like you had two sheets there i don't know <laughs> it's coming off. i'm using more egg wash i'm cheating so it doesn't come off so we'll just do one at a time for now okay. if you crowd too many in the pan they won't brown evenly they'll touch each other oh, so you'll get a white nice. spot and a brown spot 
so it takes a little bit longer. Or you can use a, like a frying pan that's deep, yeah. and then you can have them spread out a little. Oh, I love it. And then how long do we fry them for? Just until they look golden brown. Oh, yum. And you can and see then it's starting to get some color to it. I would never think, I mean, egg rolls, you think pork, vegetable, chicken. So and then we do want to put them on when they're done. On a napkin to get a little on bit a of that oil off. How fun. I bet your family and friends love this recipe. They do. <laughs> You're like, thank you. Do they love, I mean, I know you said there have been a few pizza delivery nights, but do your kids or your husband have, some, have something favorite that they love that they're always asking you to make again besides anything with bacon and cheese? Um, not really. Not really? Not really favorites, Just, no. No. I love it. It's, it's kind of Oh, look at that. Oh, that doesn't take long at all. No. Then you just oh, want to drain awesome. it a little bit. We'll put a couple in this time. Yours are so beautiful. I'm going to give you mine to cook Oh, here. Too. Let's put one of yours on. Put one of mine. <laughs> put one of mine. <laughs> pretty, too. It's Once they cook, bad. you'll never know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those don't take long at so, all. Then you just, you want to let it cool down just a little bit before you put the powdered sugar on it, or it will just become powdered glaze. Uh, It'll just which melt. I, like, um, like uh, powdered sugar cream cheese frosting on a cake. So, so let's, let's, should we do one now? And then yes. we'll. So let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to put this over here for now. Okay. Let's just make sure we don't want to burn. Oh, you guys. Oh, ours is Yum. Ours is open. Well, there's now. nothing really to cook except the outer no. shell. So we didn't improvise again. So kind of through of a sifter. With a little bit of powdered sugar. I put this love it. Away. What I usually like to do is cut it in half. Oh, so then more for little, everyone to do. Well, not everyone eats both halves. Yeah. But it's just, it's a little easier to pick it up and eat. And then let's grab a fork. Oh, I know. I could just drink the <laughs> I'm just telling you. There you go. And you just want to drizzle it with a little bit of caramel. Okay, I'm going to be patient. We're going to cook the rest of these gorgeous banana caramel egg rolls, and we'll be right back to, of course, my favorite part of the show, the tasting. So don't go anywhere. You're watching Community Cooking. Welcome back to Community Cooking. All right, Debbie, it's always my favorite tasting, especially when you, they're your dishes. We have, can I say a large platter of yes. <laughs> bacon fried rice and for dessert, the banana caramel egg rolls. I'm going to try the rice first, shall we? Me too. And I'm getting a big piece of crunchy bacon, little egg. Okay, who doesn't love that? The bacon adds it's not overpowering it just adds enough extra and different flavor and i think it's a sesame oil too mm -hmm. i think it adds a great kick to it oh my gosh i hate to put it down but well i must all right i'm going in a little whipped cream from this side oh my gosh look at this okay that I'm glad you saw it and improved upon it. <laughs> the crunchiness of the egg roll, it's like a little banana pie, yeah. but better. And you don't need to cook the banana. See, the banana's no. still nice and soft and tender inside. Well, I'm, you could do different fruit. Apples you'd have to cook before. But right. We've done apples with cinnamon. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. You're welcome back anytime. <laughs> Thank you. I love having you. Thanks for <laughs> joining us. And for Debbie, myself, and the entire crew, thank you all for watching, and we do encourage you, try these recipes at home. You'll be glad you did. And remember, we have some of the best cooks right here in our own community, and we will see you next time on Community Cooking. Oh my God, that deserves enough.
If you'd like a copy of the recipe seen on this show, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Office of Cable and Community Relations. That's 3350 Civic Center Drive, Suite 200 in Torrance, California, 90503. Be sure to note the show number displayed on the screen. And don't forget, you can find all the fresh ingredients used on today's show at the Farmer's Market. Visit the one here in Torrance at Wilson Park. That's located at 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard. They're open every Tuesday and Saturday from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. rain or shine. And if you'd like to be a guest on our show, email us at communitycooking at torrentca.gov and check us out online at youtube.com slash torrentcitycable and like us on Facebook at Community Cooking TV.